Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta. And today we will understand how to run K-fold cross-validation in logistic regression in NINE. We run logistic regression analysis when we are having one dependent variable and that is also categorical. The example of which is a person having a heart disease or not having the heart disease. There can be many independent variables. It's not necessary that this independent variable should be categorical. It can be on the continuous scale also. Now, the cross-validation is a technique for validating the model efficiency by training it on the subset of input data and testing on previously unseen subset of the input data. I'll explain the entire concept on the next two slides. We can also say that it is a technique to check how a statistical model can be generalized to an independent data set. Just see the example here. The data set will be segregated into two parts, the training data and the testing data. This training data will be used for the cross-validation purposes. By cross-validating, we will be able to estimate from parameters the best parameters. This best parameters will be again used to retrain the model. And this retrain model will be used for the final evaluation on the testing data. Now, how cross-validation is being done? Let's try to understand. The gray color represents the entire data. This data will be divided into green and blue. The green is a training data and blue is a testing data. Say for example, we are having 100 observations. So if there are five folds, then in each fold, we will have 20 observations, 20, 20, 20, 20, and 20. Now in the first split, in the first split, the fold one, is a blue color is a testing data the remaining are the training data in the second split fold one fold three four five are training data fold two becomes a testing data when we will run this number of times we will find the best parameters and on the basis of this best parameters we will do the final evaluation of the testing data now how we can run the k-fold cross validation in nine let's see so for this i'll go here and i'll activate the input output from here I'll activate the CSV reader, double click on it, browse, browse the data set. I'll connect heart one, open, click OK, right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the file table. So you can see here our target variable is a heart disease, yes and no. The classification of this is to be done on the basis of age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, and maximum hours of exercise. They all are on different scales. And therefore, it is necessary that we normalize it. So I'll activate the normalizer from here. Right click on it and configure. I remove the old pick and fasting blood sugar from here. The normalization can be done with the help of mean max normalization, z-score normalization, normalization by decimal scale. I have discussed normalization in my previous video. Kindly refer my previous kindly refer my playlist. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Now we will activate the X partitioner from here. Which is in cross validation. Right click on it and configure. So, number of validations, it means that there are 10 validations which we are going to run. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Uh, it is better that, okay, again right click on it and configure and activate the stratified sampling based on heart disease, not the random sampling. Stratified sampling based on heart disease. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. After this, we will activate the logistic learner from here. Right click on it, configure, heart disease, no. Our reference category will become no. And the variables which we will consider are those variables which have been normalized. Age, resting blood pressure cholesterol and maximum hours of exercise click ok right click on it and execute now we will activate the predictor from here
the logistic predictor. I'll disconnect this from here. So the partitioner, X partitioner will be connected here. Right click on it and configure. Click on custom column prediction, prediction column names and map in columns with predicted probability. Click OK. Again, right click on it and execute. Right click on it and let's see the predicted data. This is the prediction which has been done. And this is the original data set. Now activate the aggregator from here. X aggregator. Right click on it and configure. Hard disease and prediction hard disease is on. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. You can see the prediction table now. Now let's see. By doing this k fold cross validation, has the classification accuracy increased or not? So let me activate the scorer from here. Right click on it and configure. So the hard disks, prediction hard disks, click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the confusion matrix. So 259, in 259 cases, the patient was not having the heart disease and the model also predicted that the patient is not having the heart disease. 381 cases are such that the patient was having the heart disease and the model also predicted correctly. But 127 plus 151 are the misclassified cases. So let's see, uh, is our classification accuracy increased or not? So 0 0.697, which was previously 0 0.67. So even by doing the K-fold cross-validation, the classification accuracy has not increased reasonably. But this is a way you can do K-fold cross-validation in NIME. So for more videos on NIME, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos on NIME.